cars are much more than just vehicles. And around the world, no cars evoke more emotion or generate more fantasy than movie cars. We're rolling? Yes. All right. What's up? I'm Rick Martinez, filmmaker, action designer, visionary. They call me the wild child of Hollywood. And well, this is Eric. What? My movies are world-renowned pieces of action. Wheel Force, Gas Addict, Crash to Survive. And I'm here in Hawaii with my new Motorfest buds to shoot my next project, High Ride. Cars are everything in this movie. And you get to be my lead stunt driver. So get ready for some next level stuff because you're about to enter the Marty-verse. See you on set, driver. This is Hollywood. Action! is expecting you soon. Ready for some on-set action? Let's see what's coming up. Today, you're not just a driver, you're an actor too. In a movie produced by the Motorfest, Driving a car is as much a part of acting as delivering a line. Your first co-star will be the 1968 Austin Mini Cooper, selected by our in-house mechanic and car consultant, Kaya Kanna. Hey, can you can you move that camera to the right? No, a little bit more to the right. All right, we're behind schedule, people. Let's move it. Let's move it. Hey, you. You're finally here. Welcome to set. Hey, listen, no time for chit chat. We're starting to shoot right now, and you're my main driver. You know that, right? Can someone bring the drivers to their cars, please? Thank you. So basically, you're Terry Jones, the main character, and this first scene puts the viewer right in the middle of your busy everyday life. I want you to get in your car. I'm gonna give you directions as we go. They say you drive like freaking baby driver. That better be true, my friend. Listen, the festival car consultant is on her way. She's gonna catch up with us. The craft does not wait. Come on, everyone! We're doing this! This is High Ride, scene one, action! This is our first scene, so let's get one thing straight. 
sure your job here may be driving, but you still need to get into character. I want you to feel the scene, you hear me, champ? Remember, your name's Terry Jones. You're a small-time thief, you just robbed a pawn shop, and you got a bunch of goons on your tail. Get yourself out of this mess and drive like you need it. This is really happening to you. That lane on the road is called the video lane. That's where we need you to drive to get the best shots. Every time you see one of those, you follow it. Don't think twice. You got this. This is your character's everyday life. You're used to that stuff. Get on that lane right there. It's critical for the shot. Oh yeah, this will look great on camera. like it never happened. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. How's it going? Hey there, welcome to my set. Terry, this is our car consultant and mechanic, Miss Akana. Yeah, call me Kai, man. Hi, driver. How have you been since our little vintage garage experience? You did the playlist, right? So for this first scene, we got you an Austin Mini Cooper S. Maneuverable and lovely, this car's such a fun ride. Fun ride before the high ride. with this next move, Terry. I see what you're thinking. Okay, driver. Better gun it if you want to make this work. Nice! With that move, Terry's out of the woods. Just a few more seconds, and it's in the can. Cut! Looks like we got ourselves a driver and a Freaking hell of an intro. Great start, Terry Jones. Nice work. So how does it feel to be the leading driver for a production like this? I hope you're getting into character, because we have a whole movie to make. The crew is already getting ready for the next scene, and Kai got you your next killer partner, a 1970 Dodge Challenger. Another car that is no stranger to movie sets. All right, buddy. You've made quite the impression on these first shots, but we're going to need to confirm it wasn't just a fluke. With this second scene, the plot is thickening. You got scouted by the local kingpin. Goes by the name of Big Johnny. He's got a job for you, and you're not gonna wanna pass on this one, all right? The man asks you to show up at his country house to seal a deal. But first, he wants you to show him what you're worth with a little duel in the dirt. This is our turning point for our protagonist. His future will be decided today. We gotta feel this, you know what I mean? All right, we're going back, everyone. Driver, you get back in the Terry's shoes, and you make my day. We got you the right set of wheels for the job. I ride. Team two, we go again this year. action. So 
get in this scene, things get real for Terry. You're facing Big Johnny's number one guy, Mikey the Maniac. The big boss is putting you to the test, and you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. You gotta beat that guy. This is exciting. I know, this is brilliant. I'm going for the long take here, my friend, so I want your focus all the way. The guy in the black car knows how to drive, and I told him to go all out. I want this to feel real, so go for it. You got your own directing style, don't you? Long shots, real feel, real pain, that's how Oscars are won. Okay, Leo. Driver, you want to please our friend Rick Scorsese here and make that scene look awesome, you got to use that dodge right. That's right. first generation from 1970. This car is a monster among oldies and it ain't afraid of anything. The RT actually stands for road and track, so don't worry it won't let you down. I do dig the nerdy car stuff, but what matters is it's badass. That's why I picked it. You mean why I picked it? Whatever. Watch that next turn. Your car may be versatile, but you still have to adapt your driving on dirt roads if you don't want to end up in a ditch. The ditch is not an option. Mikey the Maniac, and the chance for Terry to reach new heights. Give me everything, and don't be scared of playing dirty. It's a brawl. cameras floating around, these are for extra wide angle. On a Rick Martinez set, you go big or you go home. Hey man, I was looking you up online. It says your actual name is Clarence Baker. Wanna catch us up on this, parents? This is not... I mean, don't believe everything you read on the internet. Jeez. It also says you're actually from Chattanooga. Really? Oh, come on! Terry, you're skilled and determined to nail this test. The job is yours for the taking. Seize it. And cut. That was fun. That's what I call a wonder. Mikey the Maniac is gonna be so pissed. The movie making experience continues and the next scene will be shot in downtown Honolulu. You'll be riding bikes this time in yet another action-packed sequence. Don't be late. The whole movie. 
enemy depends on you. I hope you can handle a bike, because in our next scene, that's all you're gonna get. This is your first job for Big John, and you don't wanna mess it up, okay? You're driving a dirt bike, some guys with massive trucks are chasing you. It's David versus Goliath all over again. I wanna feel the stakes, and I wanna feel that Terry plays that bike like I play the violin. I, uh, like he plays the violin. So the saying, right? well, what's the saying then? Never mind. You get on that bike, driver, and you give me a two-wheeled concerto that'll make Steve McQueen look like a little girl on a tricycle. What do you mean I can't say that? Screw this. This is High Ride, scene three. Let's go! We're back at it. So again, this is your first gig for Big John. You just snatched a handful of stones from some cockney bookmakers, all right? These guys are pissed, and they're coming after you. Yeah, you better get used to it. It'll happen a lot in this movie. He sold in Hawaii. Really? These guys got a business here, and I like the way they talk. The early supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Anyway, they're chasing you with their trucks, so you gotta move fast and use the size of that bike to your advantage. You cannot get caught. You hear me, Terry? These guys aren't here to take you for tea, yeah? You're on the way, Terry. agile one to lose the Brits in the narrow streets, then a fast one to get out of reach for good. Onto the roof, and take flight. So, you got a, a sort of a Japanese motocross and a, uh, dang. Okay, Ratchet, you're up. Yeah, looks like you're struggling here. Soul Driver, you start with a good old Yamaha YZ450 app, which will get you through anything. Before I switch to something more powerful, I'll tell you more about that one when you get there. moment Terry believes he's lost them, but he's wrong. They'll be back. Yep, here they are. You're doing all right. Now remember, you gotta hold on until you get to that second bike, which will get you out of the city. a Ducati Panigale. You want its speed to be felt as free, so push it as hard as you can. You're going down the rabbit hole. She's totally right. And don't forget to get on the video lane as much as you can. The script says that you're jumping off the highway soon. Keep your bike steady and watch your landing. Yeah, you gotta nail that stunt. Nailed it. That's right. Love that. It's going to look phenomenal. Critical shot ahead. Don't miss the lane. into the turns and let her rip on the straights.
back on the highway. At this point, Terry knows he's won. Big Joe's going to be very happy. If I was Terry, I'd just take off with a bike and the loot. Things are a little more complex than that, sweetie. I see you're as handy with a bike as you are with a car driver. Ready for your next scene? This one is going to be more on the chill side. You'll have to drive and give your audience a nice Hawaiian vibe. the car, you're going to partner with quite the celebrity, a Ferrari 308 GTS. We're in Hawaii, we're making a movie. Connect the dots. You're here. Rick and the Roads of Hawaii are waiting for you. Oh, hey, my driver's back. How's it going, champ? You're doing a great job so far. Don't get cocky. The secret to being a long-lasting celebrity like myself is diligence, modesty, and dedication. Not taking your current success for granted. That's the key, friend. Now get in that beautiful sports car a gifted mechanic has prepared for you. You're paying your friend Keanu a visit up in the hills. We're shooting a sweet Hawaiian ride there, all right? Everything's working out for your character, Terry. New job, new cars, new social status, even met a girl. I want to feel all of that in this scene, all right? This is Terry at his peak. And he's showing off about it. He's like, na, 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 you know what I'm saying? Great. You go and give me that swag. This is high ride scene four. Action. Action, my friend. Except this time we're going for a chill, feel-good kind of scene that shows Terry's rise and success at this point of the movie. The cameras are rolling, and all you need to do is to follow the scripted instructions and reach the destination. Your friend Keanu's house. You've done this before in the vintage playlist, remember? You got this. Right now, your character, Terry, is walking on clouds. He's got that new job, first gigs went great, and he feels like the coolest son of a gun on this island. Johnny got you that amazing new car, and money won't be an issue anymore. A Ferrari 308 GDS? Big Joe's clearly not messing with you. It's, it's one of them Ferraris. Couldn't recall. Man, how come you specialize in car action movies and no jack about cars? I'm all about the art. All right, Terry, now keep driving. What, what the? You call this a cappuccino? I can't believe this. And just like that, he's gone. Looks like coffee takes priority over his passion for the seven thoughts. So, it's just the two of us now. Not gonna complain. 
The man is loud. about that Ferrari 308 GDS. It was one of my first choices when they asked me to pick cars for this movie. Among Ferraris, this one and the Daytona are my personal favorite. Same designer, different purposes. Yourself. Okay, I'm back. Don't worry, guys. I have everything under control. Yeah, right. Keep going straight. That's it, exactly the way I envisioned it. Just a few more shots, you got destruct, Terry. This is your rise, you're glowing. It's like the kid has finally become a grown man with a big ass mustache. Pun intended. What? Never mind. Sorry, Martinez. You lost your privileges on this one. No time to rest on your laurels. Keep going, driver. The next scene will be shot really close by. And this time, you're going into the wild. So, this next scene is what I call a breather. It's a nice, fun action scene that's disconnected from the main intrigue. It allows the viewer to cool down before what's coming after. Where Terry gets to his friend Keanu's place, and the dude's actually just about to go for some off-road fun with a bunch of pals, all right? <laughs> you're not just gonna sit, sit and watch, are you? Hmm? Your friend has a buggy ready for you, so you, you get your butt in that thing, and you prepare for the race, okay? If you're good enough to work for Big Joe, you can take on a bunch of old country boys, am I right? This is high freaking ride, scene five. Let's rumble, action. having fun. That's the whole point of this scene. We're taking a short break from the main plot to enjoy a good old low stakes action moment. It's like that volleyball scene in Top Gun. Well, I remember that one. 
You're racing your friends, enjoying the countryside, and goofing around. I want to feel all of that, as well as Terry's driving skills, so beat these guys and make me proud. Yeah, but watch it. That path is gonna be quite the roller coaster, with some serious downhill sections and jumps. Speaking of which, race for the jump. Oh yeah, that's it. Unbelievable. You're a terminal crazy. That scene's gonna be another killer. Keep your cool, director. The scene ain't over. Right, 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 right. The mechanic has a point. Driver, stay in character. These pictures look phenomenal. That vehicle's a beast. Any technical word from our sassy car expert, maybe? You got it. So, driver, as you noticed, we decided to go wild and bold for this scene with the Ariel Nomad buggy. That will serve two purposes here. First, it should get you through these hills and rivers without too much difficulty. And second, it has that edgy weather look I director was looking for. Absolutely. I wanted the aesthetics of this scene to be kind of a tribute to those mad post-apocalyptic movies. because these guys don't give a damn. The last section of this race. Give me everything. Almost there. Wait for it. Boom! Exactly what I was looking for here. What a lovely day. It's still rolling. You didn't say cut. Making a great movie is all about getting the best possible take for each scene. And that sometimes means trying different things. Well, in our next event, you'll be shooting a specific stunt, and you'll have three takes to get it right. Try to be as bold and as creative as possible. Your director demands to be thrilled. Your co-star here is a first-class legend, the 1967 Shelby GT500. Let's go. What on earth is that thing doing there? It should be on the fake road. Jeez. Hey. Okay, this one is is one of the key scenes, my friend. Where we're going for one of the major action moments of the movie. We've built a whole set just for this. We got to make it look good. And there's more. Come here. You see the production? People are kind of all over me. Something about blowing budgets and, <laughs> you know, missing deadlines, that kind of crap. But hey, what can I say? I'm an overachiever. They should know that by now. We're going to need to nail the scene in three takes tops. Otherwise, it's going to get cut. And if it gets cut, I'm a little pissed. You know? Your driving mastery is needed more than ever. Get on that set. Work your magic. This is high ride. D. Are you kidding me? I can't believe I, I said it's supposed I can't believe it. Three different stunt configurations. I want you to go bold and try different approaches. Kai got you the best possible car again for the scene, am I right? That's correct. We got you a 67 Shelby GT500, also named Shelby Cobra. A two-door coupe based on the Ford Mustang Fastback. With that car, Terry will be gone in less than a minute. All right, let's focus. Here comes the money shot. Catch 
your breath. You're gonna lap around while we rearrange the props. Take two. How do you feel behind the wheel of this beauty? She's the first model of the Shelby GT500 lineup. It flies, exemplary road holding, great performance, and the sound of its engine still make people go crazy. Sorry to interrupt, but we're getting back to it. Punch it. I want that car to fly. I want that car to break things. Going in one last time. Terry's on a roll, and so am I. Okay, I'll take that car back now. There's no good action movie without a bit of a love story, right? That's the side Rick wants to explore in this next scene. This time, it's all about finding the right atmosphere. You're cooling down for a moment and going for a smooth evening ride. Terry, 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 you <laughs> Ah, you're here. Fantastic. Listen, I told you earlier that Terry, a.k.a. you, met a girl, right? Her name's Jessie. And in this next part of the film, you two have a date. Listen to me. The, the scene we're about to shoot is all about capturing that light mood right before date night. Okay, you're driving towards the rendezvous point. You're feeling great and in control. It's... Really? Seriously? Yeah, you, you're feeling confident. Tonight's your night. And oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> kind of an important thing. Ah, uh, Jesse's Big Johnny's daughter. I know, right? Harry's a sucker for trouble. <laughs> Get back into character, my friend. You're going for a love ride. High ride. Scene seven. Hey, what do the French say? Saturn. Saturn.
player, we're going for another chill driving seat. Follow the instructions and reach the rendezvous point. No rush here, it's all about enjoying the ride. Don't worry, I'll guide you. So let me pitch you the mood again. It's a warm and quiet evening. You got some nice music on the radio and your date's waiting for you at the drive-in. There's romance in the air and you feel the wind of infinite possibilities on your face. Jesse's the one. It doesn't matter that she's Big Joe's daughter. All he has to do is keep a low profile. And even if Big J were to find out, so what? Terry feels confident he could get him to understand. He's his new top dog after all. Okay, I think I know where this is going. lovely evening, Terry decided to collab with Bitch Guns with a car that says, I'm classy and I know my stuff. That's where this beauty comes in. A Porsche 550 Spider red interior from 1955. Pretty much the same as James Dean's. A true collector's piece. That Jessie's one lucky girl. Too bad her dad's a psycho. You had no idea. That's it. I want to feel Terry's confidence and peace of mind in your driving. Tonight's your night. You guys are going to watch a movie, get some food. Speaking of dinner, I make a killer jambalaya. Hey, Kai, I was wondering if... Nope. Okay. Man, that's a beautiful shot. I could definitely feel the love tonight. right before the coffee house. Hey, that car, is it? Maybe. Subtle, unimpressed. Don't miss that next turn on the right. for a nice evening under the stars. And cut! Who said romance is dead? 
Hey, I'll be in my trailer refocusing. Big scene tomorrow. The big third act. Here we are, the final action scene. A scene that's meant to root the viewers to the spot. It'll require your full skill set. Cars, boats, planes. will get you up to speed, and Kai will tell you more about the vehicles. But here's a hint. The first you'll be driving is very famous. You'll need gold fingers to handle these wheels. Hold on a second. This doesn't make any sense. What did I... All right, that's it. You know what? I'm going to make a few last-minute changes to the script, guys. What? Tell Kai I'm going to need a boat and a plane. Man, hey, driver, I'll again. tell you what's what. You and Jesse got caught, and Big J won't have any of it. Long story short, he wants you in a box, and his whole gang is after you, but your friend Keanu thought this through and came up with a three-vehicle escape plan. You're leaving the island with your girl and her dad's money. This is the high point. You gotta drive to survive. Everyone, this is High Ride Final Scene. Go, go, go. Boom. My friend, we're shooting the final action sequence of the film, The Big Ride. I need you to be Terry one more time, and I'm aiming for no less than mind-blowing pictures. So I hope you're ready to go above and beyond. Where's my coffee? Can you try decap? So, too bad for Terry and Jesse. Mikey the Maniac spotted them during their little night out and totally snitched. Holy but what? Long story short, the boss man's losing his shit. All his goons are after you, and your only chance is to stick to Keanu's plan. The three vehicle grand escape, remember? Some pictures back there. Now the boat county prep is right there. Get ready for the switch. Big J's men are already on the water. Incoming from the left. You need to steer right. Lose these a-holes. That DCPM 31 is fast and allows for some sharp turns. No second thoughts. Even in the sky, you still got pursuers, and they're pressuring you from the right. You won't lose them over the sea. You gotta fly back inland. Trial. 
I hope you like this last scene's vehicle lineup, driver. An Aston Martin, a DC PM31, and a Supermarine Spitfire. Spies ain't got nothing on you. And Hamilton's got nothing on me. I got hidden cameras shooting this from all angles. This scene's gonna shake the whole of Planet Hollywood. is to be expected. Right there, that's the canyon. This is where you lose them. That's it. These guys couldn't keep up with you. Harry and Jesse are cruising into the sunset, free from Big Joe's clutches. I can already envision the sequel. Big J plotting his revenge from the shadows. You don't lose time, do you? And that's a wrap! Rick freaking Martinez. I still got it. Well, you're not half bad, Martinez. I give you that. Great job, but the journey is far from over. did it! The movie shoot is over. On top of being one of Motorfest celebrities, you're about to become a movie star. And it's now time to reap the rewards of your work. After feeling the magic of the movie set, get ready to enjoy the fame and the glamour of the red carpet. You heard me right. The first official trailer of the film is ready for screening. The trailer will be unveiled tonight at the Waikiki Shell. This will be a huge Motorfest event. The creme de la creme will be there. And as our main stunt artist, you'll be expected. Rick thought that the traditional limo wasn't cool enough for you to make an entrance, so... He asked Kai to get you something a little more extravagant. And she had just the right car. You'll see. Man, I always leave these things. There we go. What are you doing here? Filming's over, buddy. I mean, you did a freaking good job. I and mean, then now it's time for me. I, I, I mean, I mean for us to get on the red carpet and bask in the praise. You know, fame, money, fancy cocktail parties. Life, right? This is it. Big premiere night tonight. Press, the whole cast's gonna be there. I want you by my side. All right, so go and get ready. Guy got you a special car. This is my moment. You cannot be late. What? Yeah, okay, our moment, whatever. Don't you start. Get out of here. <sighs> got this, Rick. The night, you're the man. Na, 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 na. job on that set. Now come join us downtown. We got you the perfect car to make an entrance. Hang on, what, what is it, Rick? Is my driver on the line? Great. Hey, champ, you gotta move. The movie's about to be unveiled. We're already here with the whole cast. You're the only one missing. Get here and get here fast. My triumph can't be complete without my star driver. Rick, I told you, man. You gotta chill out. Anyways, where were we? Yes, that car you're driving will unquestionably get you there on time. It's one of the latest Motorfest creation. Yeah, champ. Limos are for old geezers, so we got you the best car you could ask for tonight. You're doing this Tony Stark style. Yes, that's kind of the idea.
Hey, Kai, come with us. They're taking pictures. I want my crew around me. Oh, be right back. Ride posters everywhere. Crazy opening night just for me. In your face, Glam Magazine. Who's a has been now? Show business driver. Notorious Terry Jones. Kids in the street call you the fastest wheels in town. Show me. So tell me about that new job of yours. And tell me about that girl. So, you're my dad's new guy. What do you do? Chauffeur him around? Not exactly. You really think everything's just gonna go your way? If my dad finds out about us, we're both dead. I'm gonna need a car. Reality's always one step away, brother. Bring me Terry Jones! Who taught you to drive like that? My grandmother. She has a bit of a temper. Hop on, movie star. After the big night, there's one last thing you need to do to complete the playlist. Go back to the Hollywood Action Container and get your reward. That experience clearly was a high ride, and the movie will soon hit big screens from all around the world was on fire when he left for the promotional tour. I think he's going to talk a lot about you. I mean, he'll talk mostly about himself, but he'll mention you for sure. All in all, that first Motorfest production was a clear success, and a lot of that is down to you. AI characters in the next movie. I mean, everyone thinks we're bad guys since Hal in that Space Odyssey movie. Someone should restore our image. Maybe I should audition. Wait, am I not muted? Oh no, damn it! Sorry about that, driver. Here we are. Your special reward awaits. The renowned Aston Martin DB5, selected and prepared by Kai herself. 